Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my video. So, I am having a situation right now with this car. Man, this car was driving fine all day without a single issue. So I parked it for about an hour, hour and a half. Went jogging. Came back and, and, and tried to stop the car. So everything happened normally, like, like, you know, as if there was no issue. The remote security of the alarm worked fine. Got in the car. All the sounds work. Try to start it. All the lights lit up. Everything worked. Right? Blower motor was blowing. The radio turned on. Everything worked. Except I heard nothing. There was absolutely nothing coming from the engine. All right, it wasn't cranking, it wasn't making any noise, and all I heard was one single click. Like every time I try to start it, and I must have tried to start it at least 12, 15 times, every single time it was like a click, a click. You know, every time when I try to start, it's like, and it gets, it got fainter. It, you know, every single time I try to start it, it got fainter and fainter. So I was like, okay, okay, this, this is an issue here, considering, uh, you know, I, I, I had the battery. I changed the battery up about a couple months ago. All right, and and I was hoping, like, the easiest fix as far as this situation is concerned is maybe the battery is defective maybe it doesn't issue with the battery I mean I was out for an hour so leaving it if I had my lights on which I didn't I mean it wouldn't have drained the battery in an hour so basically what I did was I, I thought it was the battery to begin with so I turned uh, the headlights on I got out I checked the headlights were bright the headlights were bright so, but I mean, I couldn't say 100% for sure that it was not the battery. So I lifted my hood and, uh, you know, try tried to see whether, you know, anything, the, the, whether there was anything uh, wrong with the battery, like the terminals, whether the terminals were rusted or something like that. Because I've had situations before where I had a, a, a another vehicle, another car where the terminals one of the terminals were rusted and I had to clean it up because I, I had this kind of like the same issue where, where, where I had power to everything. I had power to everything. It's just that, it's just that, you know, it, it wouldn't crank. So I put a hood up, looked at the terminal and the terminals looked a little bit dirty. It wasn't very, very, very dirty, but it was, it, it was kind of, it was, there was, there was some kind of bluish, white, bluish, uh, stuff around it, so it was a little bit corroded. All right. Now I have a, a wire brush, so you know I, I have some I have some tools uh, in in my trunk. So what I did was I took out um, a a wrench. Uh, I un, un, unscrew the the terminal screws, loosen it up, took it out, uh, took took out the wire brush and pretty much just brushed it just brushed it just brushed it uh until everything everything was was clean all right so right after that what i did was i put the terminals back on hoping that that would solve the issue got back uh in my car tried to start it and it would not start it was the same issue it was the same issue was getting the same uh, sounds and lights were working. Everything was working, but it would not, would not, would not, would not start. So I was thinking to myself, okay, so now, now I have to do a little bit more troubleshooting. So uh, obviously, I mean, it could, it could have still been the battery. So what I did was I actually uh, asked somebody to give me a jump. The car was jumped. Try to turn it on, and it did the same thing. It would not turn 
on. All right, it was jumped. It was not turned on at that point. Um, I kind of knew that. It, obviously, I knew it wasn't the battery. I also, I, I, you know, as far as that troubleshooting is concerned, I knew that it wasn't the alternator. And the reason why I know that it wasn't the alternator was, if you guys ever have a, a an alternator problem with a ter terminator, the terminator, the alternator isn't working, isn't charging. If you guys put cables to the battery you the the car should turn on all right it should turn turn on but once you take the cables off the car will just automatically shut off that's how you know that that's an alternator issue because you know it's getting power from from the cable to jump the battery to jump the car up but but the alternator's not charging it. That's how you know it's not the alternator. So at that at this point, I know it's not the battery that's causing it. Just for just off of troubleshooting that I know it's the battery that's not causing it. I know it's not the alternator that's not causing it. I know it's the terminals that's not causing it because the terminals were clean. Because I just cleaned it. So what else could it be? So I was looking at the car and I know that sometimes a weak ground could cause issues with starting. You might get power, but you might not you're not gonna have enough power to to start the car up. So I was looking at the grounds and sometimes you can see where the grounds are. Sometimes the grounds you know, if you if you follow the negative cable and there and there there are, you know, a, a, there are a bunch of grounds, uh, you know, under the hood. Uh, but the main ground is the, the 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 negative cable on the battery. You could try to follow that, which I did to to the frame of the car. It'll either be on the side. Sometimes it'll be, be below the battery. If it's below the battery, you might not be able to see it too well. If it you know if it's if it's if it's connected to the side. You should be able to see whether it's corroded or not, etc., etc. Um, it wasn't the ground. I'll tell you, it wasn't the ground. All right, figured that out. It was in the ground. It was in the battery. It was in the alternator. Uh, so at that point, I was thinking, okay, so there's this issue I'm having now. It, it, it's a lot more complicated. I'm stuck. It's a lot more complicated than 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 those those three things. Uh, what else could it be? So I'm thinking to myself, now it does click, and because it does click, it pretty much means that the relay is working. That click is coming from the relay. All right. I did open the box up, the the, the fuse box un, under the the. I, I did open the fuse box up. Now I was looking at I was I was looking at all the fuses trying to see if there, any of them were uh, was burnt. Now it's a hard thing to figure out even if you unplug all of them sometimes there'll be a dark darkish you know if, if the fuse is burnt you, you you can see it on the fuse but I did not have a few test fuse tester on me so I could not tell whether uh, any of that uh, was causing it, all right? But I know that the starter relay, the starter relay works, and I know that the starter relay works because of the clicking, you know, because of the clicking. It's like one click, all right? I know, I know that 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 it wasn't the relay that was causing it. Uh, so basically, now I I have this a uh, couple of last. Couple last things that I could uh, tr try to figure out what what the issue is. It could be the ECM, the PCM, the car's main computer, but that's also that would also be connected to a fuse. Um, and 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 that would be like the last, the very, the very, very the very last thing that I would actually check out if I couldn't figure out any other thing that would be causing it. Okay, so. Basically, I'm down to a couple other things, okay? The fuses. Now, I wasn't able to test it out, but but I will tell you that 
the situations that I've had previously where the fuses would cause these kinds of issue, it's like this. All right, I've had one occasion where the main fuse blew, and the main fuse was the main fuse that connected the fuse box to 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 the um, to the battery. So there was one line that goes to that connects to the fuse box, and then there was a fuse that connected that connected that to the fuse box, and that one blew. All right, in that situation. Nothing inside the car worked. There was no power to the vehicle whatsoever. It was uh, completely dead as if there was no battery connected to the, the, the car. And, and which was the situation considering that the fuse was connecting the battery to the car. And once that blew, there was nothing. There was no power at all. Now, I can... I can safely say that that wasn't the cause of this issue. I can say that pretty much because um, I am getting power to every single thing in this car. I'm getting power to every single thing in this car. All right. So I know that's not the it's not the main fuse. If it was a fuse issue, it wasn't the main fuse that was causing it. Now the other situation I had with a fuse was, I believe the fuse to the car's ECM PCM uh, uh, um, fuel pump or something like that. I forget, but the car that situation the car would crank every time I would try to start it, it would crank. But it wouldn't turn over. The engine wouldn't turn over. Now, once I swapped out that fuse, obviously it started working. All right. Now, here's the thing. All right. I'm pretty sure in this situation, it's it's not the fuel pump. At least from what I'm seeing so far, it's not the fuel pump. If it was, you know, it would it would at least crank up which is it's not doing it's not cranking up at all to get to the point where it actually turns over all right so 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 basically we're up to this stage where I can eliminate a bunch of things uh, so the last couple of things that I could try to figure out was maybe it's a security issue Maybe it's a key fob issue. I haven't had any issues with my key fob, any kind of security problems, uh, alarm problems, none of that. But here's the thing. Okay, I'm hoping, when I was trying to fix this, I was hoping that that um, it wasn't the starter, considering I changed the starter out um, about... I would say maybe about a year ago I changed the starter out. All right. Now, I was having this same issue about a year ago. I was having the same issue about a year ago, all right? Now, I didn't I didn't I didn't think about the starter to begin with because that starter that I put in about a year ago should have lasted me um, a good, I would say, it should have last should should last me a good over a hundred miles, a hundred thousand miles. I mean, a, a good over a hundred thousand miles, a hundred and twenty five thousand. It should last me quite a while. I should get years and years and years and years uh, from it. But here's the thing about it: when I bought that starter, I bought it as I bought it as a uh, refurbished starter. Okay, I didn't buy the starter brand new. All right, refurbished starters. If you guys don't know uh, about how remanufactured, rebuilt, refurbished stuff works, particularly in uh, particularly in the auto uh, market, the way it works is they take the core, which is the old 
starter or alternator or whatever, and what they do is it gets reused. All right, it gets cleaned up. Okay, but when they fix it, when they fix it, they figure what the problem is. When they fix it, they fix that one single part. They fix one single part on that starter or alternator or whatever it is that's 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 been rebuilt okay they fix that one single part so the rest of so the rest of the alternator or starter or whatever it is that was rebuilt they reuse so the rest of you know the components essentially have whatever it is the mileage still have whatever it is the mileage that it was used when it broke down when when it broke down so it, so at this point I'm thinking it might be the starter it lasted me about a year I think which is uh which is not as uncommon as you think because I've had instances where I've had instances where I had an alternator that I that was put in that was a rebuilt alternator and I had that alternator last me maybe a couple months but at this point at this point um, uh, I'm gonna have to figure out like do a little bit do a little more in-depth troubleshooting particularly with the fuses and try to figure out um, <clears throat> um, what exactly the issue is I'm not saying 100% that it is the starter that is the problem but I don't have enough tools to actually figure out exactly uh, what exactly the, the specific problem is but at this point I am thinking that it is the starter now, if, now what I could do is I could take some kind of crowbar if it's long enough and hit the starter and try to turn on that way, see if that works. But I do not have a crowbar with me, and uh, I'm not I'm not going to do that because I am waiting for I've been waiting for AAA to 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 pick my car up. And uh, tow it back home, and then I'll then I'll do tr some really major in-depth troubleshooting on every single thing, just to see what caused it, what's causing this issue. But uh, I'm gonna keep you guys updated. If you guys stay tuned, I'm gonna keep you guys updated on what the issue is. All right, guys. All right, guys. So, it's the next day. Um, I did a bunch of troubleshooting. Um, you know, I didn't want to take apart, take the starter out first. All right, went through everything again. Try to jump it again. I forgot to mention about the brake switch. All right, I, I checked that the 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 the. the the brake lights work, so I know it wasn't uh, the brake switch that was causing it. So, so nothing else seemed to have caused it. Um, and all right, so I got to the point where I, I kind of isolated it to the starter. All right, so I was able to take everything out and. Um, I actually put a wire from the battery to the solenoid of the starter and try to bypass everything and, and try to start that way, but it did not start up, did not start up, didn't work, didn't, uh, I, I don't even think it actually uh, rotated or anything like that, didn't hear anything coming from it that point I knew it was uh, the starter that was the issue so what I did was um, 
I, I took everything off. I took it out. I, t- I took the starter out. Um, took it to AutoZone. And um, I could have had them test it out. But there was no point to that. Because uh, once I put uh, the positive and the negative to 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 the starter, it should actually start up. It didn't start up. So, but, but at that point I had a couple of, I had a couple of, I had a couple of, uh, you know, choices between getting a brand new, brand new starter or a used start starter, you know, or no, not a used one, but a rebuilt one like, you know, like, like I did about a year ago. It's under warranty. All right, it's free. I'm taking a chance on it, but I could probably be taking a chance on a brand new one too. You know, there's less of a chance of the brand new one breaking down, but I'd have to. Sh- I would have shelled out like three hundred dollars for a brand new starter versus versus like. Uh, getting another one for free and it already killed uh, you know this whole entire situation already killed my time so I was I was like you know what all right uh, I'm you know free of three hundred dollars what do you guys think I did I got the free one you know I got the exchange one now I did have a couple of words for them about how you know this starter was defective that I got from them about a year ago, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Time spent, you know, tow truck I got triple A, but still, you know, the time spent, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. They told me they couldn't do anything about that as far as reimbursing me for all that stuff. Um, but it was it was under warranty. It just, it's under a life, lifetime warranty. So I got the starter. I got the starter. Popped it in, put everything back together, uh, and cranked it, and it cranked up without a problem. Cranked it up about three, four times, no problem. So obviously, if you guys are still here with me, it is, it was a star that was causing it, causing my no start issue, my no crank, no start issue. That was, that was the problem, guys. All right. Listen, um, if you guys are in this same situation, um, I hope that this video has helped you guys out in one way or another. Um, you know, because I actually did go down each and every, pretty much each and every troubleshooting thing that you could do in a situation like this, in a no crank, no start situation. Um, if you guys find that, that, you know, if you guys find that, you know, it, going through all the list of the stuff that I did, you know, you, you start having the same problem. It could be a couple of things. I mean, I, it could be maybe your, your key fob could be causing it, uh, alarm issue could be causing it, uh, maybe a negative wire somewhere could be causing it. But um, I, I really do hope that this has helped you guys out. If you guys have any comments, please leave your comments in the comment section. Uh, please subscribe. And uh, if, you, if you can, please give me a thumbs up on this. All right, guys?